Some people fuck me sideways. Well, actually, my car is sideways. Come on, baby. Re yes. Okay, good. We recovered. Hello, everybody. Gray Steel Plays, and we're back with more of the Finnish Rally Car Masters of the Universe. No time for BS. That's the plan, anyway. I don't know how much of a master universal guy I'm going to be today, but today, well, not technically today. Today's Friday, but tomorrow, after we go to sleep for the evening, we are going to be rallying in Satan Man's Pussy Car here. We are going to see how well we can do and don't expect too much. The reason why I say that is a lot of you guys know I work a lot outside of the YouTubes and I just pulled about 10 extra hours of overtime today. So I am absolutely exhausted, but the show must go on, damn it. I don't have time to sit around dilly-dallying. Couple things I'd like to do is I would like to prepare this vehicle. Now I gotta, well, someone had said that all the items that you lose, like our freaking poor mallet that we lost, end up at the junkyard. I'm probably going to check on that, and I really hope that they do. Let's go ahead and grab our- Oh, someone else had mentioned, eat the damn sausages inside of the cab. There you go. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I am going to take some of the suggestions on removing a little bit of the weight from the car since we're going to be rallying. I'm going to remove the doors. I don't know, man. I want to keep some- Like, I don't want to strip this thing down totally. I think I'll remove the doors- and maybe the hood, but I'll keep the trunk, maybe? Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of wondering if I want to get rid of the driver's seat, too. That would be really gangster, though. Just sitting in the floorboard of the car doing the race? I don't know. All right, we need the 10 millimeters for this some bitch. Come here, you dirtbag door. Oh, I'm just kidding, door. I love you. But today, you're gonna have to come off the vehicle. I think that there's four of these bolts, perhaps. Let's see, I've gotten three so far. There's the last one. This should just come right off. Yep, there it goes. Whoa, buddy. Hold on now. Don't go all crazy on me. Yes. If you, I noticed if you allow your door to hit the ground like really, really hard over and over again, it will deform and break. And you don't want none of that. Because if there's one thing the ladies don't like, it's a deformed door. Let's go over here and remove this one as well. Got four more bolts on this side. Now this should be the last bolt here. Come on, you bastard. There we go. Go ahead and grab- Whoa, hey! Don't- Alright, go ahead and- went, went ahead and grabbed the beer instead of the freaking door. Why can I not grab the bo- <laughs> The door. It's almost like Satan possesses everything I touch. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this door in here. Uh, we'll very, very softly. Put it upon the- <laughs> Son of a bitch! How come everything ends up flying on me? Come on, man! The door just took a fucking flying leap into the wall. This is BS! Alright, now the hood is four six millimeters, right about here. And by the time we're done with this, it should be time to get some rest. Oh, you know what? Hold on. While we're doing this, we should probably go in here and use our time wisely. Let me go ahead and fly through all here, turn on the old... Oh, that's right, the game saves, and I've forgotten about this. The game now saves your lighting, which is kind of nice. Let me grab this bucket over here and bring this outside. As of, as of the last update, the update before that, the game now saves your lighting. So that's fantastic, so we don't have to go in here and mess with our lighting. Now you may be saying, you're not really that dirty, why are you doing this? Eh, I figure, you know what, two birds, one stone, all there have you. We might as well get our dirtiness meter down as best we can. You can see the fatigue bar is already pretty beat up. So we, we will have to sleep. And I don't know if I want to keep my phone off the hook. Or, or well, my phone's on the hook right now. I don't know if I want to take my phone off the hook or if I want to leave it on. The only reason is because we still need to get that final call from Platari. All right, Hood, are you going to flop out? Yep, you sure are, you son of a bitch. Oh, whatever. All right, let's see how the hood looks. Hopefully not too dinged up. Eh, the hood doesn't look that bad. Go ahead and drop this over here. There we go. Oh, the muffler's bouncing on the hood. Of course, why not? So this is our new car now. What in the Christ? Was this always like this? Was this always a giant missing chunk over here? I have a feeling this wasn't. Hold on, hold the damn phone here. I feel like there wasn't a giant piece missing out of my car. I don't know, maybe there was. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, and this little cutout was always there. Ah, it probably was. I probably have no idea what I'm saying. Just want to check to make sure that there's nothing in the trunk 
No, okay, good. Reason why is, like I said, I do want to get most of the weight out, but I don't want to remove everything. Like, we could probably remove this racing muffler, but I think I'm just going to keep it in. We're not going to put any alcohol or anything in the car. Don't worry, I'm going to down my beers before we leave. If I turn it this way, will it show me how much fuel's in here? Let's take a look. Uh, we've got right around a half a tank of gas. That should be plenty to get us over to the rally area to be able to rally and then to bring us back home. I don't want to put the jerry can in there. I just want to make sure I have enough I have enough energy energy. I have enough gas to get us from one place to the other. How's the fridge looking these days? Ah, plenty of sausages and milk. Milk keeps a Finnish man's body growing and very strong. Oh so strong. Come here, water. Let me go ahead and fill you up. Uh. Alright, that didn't quite work as I had imagined in my brain. Uh, are we close enough to fill up the water? Usually as long as you're somewhat close, it counts. Right about there should do it. There we go. I don't want to get too close to the water because it'll bring our thirst like crazy, crazy down. But it'll bring our urine up and that'll just cause more dirt. I'll have to go back and forth. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sauna real quick. And when we come back, it should be a brand new freaking day for some rallying, baby. All right, boys, it's a little past 8 a.m. Boogity, 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 let's go racing. Here we go. Let's grab some mosquito spray, too. See if this kind of keeps the mosquitoes away a little bit. Drop that down. Nope, me, the mosquito is still there. I'm going to take... How do I want to do this? I'm going to take a carton of milk with us. The reason why is because we're going to need something to drink while we're out there. And I know that appropriate Finnish people should be drinking beer before the race. But damn it, I'm going to have enough problems trying to stay alive. So, I, I don't really feel like drinking an alcoholic style beverage. I'm going to put that back there in hopes that it stays inside of the vehicle. Now, the race goes until, I think it's 10 to 6. So, we're going to start out there now. By the time we get there, it should be 10 o'clock. The area that you need to go to for the race is right by the uh, right by the airport. So right by the airport strip, there's that little pathway there, and that's kind of where the race starts. So let's start heading that way, and we'll see if we can get there, get in this damn rally car race, and uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I... <sighs> oh, things have started out so fucking well. Ugh. Okay, anyway, like I had said, we'll see if we can get there, race, and maybe, I don't know, try and place. Feels really weird with no door, man. Real weird with no door. Not the driving, just the fact that I can see out the side of my vehicle and there's no door there. That is very, very strange. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna have to remember is exactly what turns I have to make in this course. Uh, there's a couple of turns. The first intersection, we need to go straight through the second intersection, we need to make a left. And then the third intersection, we need to bear left again. After that, there's really not much else we need to do. It's just basically, holy fuck. Wow, I just spun out. Okay. So, hmm. Is it because there's not enough weight in the car? I've never spun out like that before. That is... That is new and exciting. Um, Alright, man, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was better for us to have doors and a hood on. But... I don't know, I, you know, I'm just gonna give it my best, man. Don't expect too much. I am easily nowhere near a fantastic My Summer Car driver. I am just a guy that likes the game. But damn it, I'm not gonna sit around and not try and race. So I've gotta give it my best and see how far we can get. This is gonna be so crazy though. I'm so bad at this just driving normally. I'm trying to get like a little bit of practice in right now. Like just like staying on the roadway and stuff like that. Just to see how well I can maintain. Um, because I have right, you know, on this type of roadway, I can go right around 80 to 100 kilometers per hour. And that's just not good enough. On top of that, my braking and my, well, everything is I'm bad at. But my shifting, my braking is the worst. Um, I need to get way better at that. And again, I'm not using a steering wheel or anything. I'm not using a game pad. I'm just using the keyboard. But I know that there's guys out there that can do way better than I can with just a keyboard. So I got to at least... I gotta at least give it my best, you know what I mean? Although I guess for everyone that watches me play this game out there, 
You probably don't watch me to win races. You probably watch me because I go insane when I almost die every 10 seconds. Like this right here. Old Perkele's pendulous penis shaft. I once cited myself playing this game as almost feeling like Bill Murray in Groundhog's Day. Now you know why. Now you know fucking why. <laughs> I knew it was only a matter of time to meet the pavement. Or I guess it wasn't the pavement. We're off road right now. I guess just meet a tree. What type of tree killed me? I want to know so I can send it all of my doctor's bills. By now I think I've had close encounters with most of the trees in the area. All of them have a piece of gray skull sitting somewhere within their barky exterior. You sons of bitches. What's up there ball bag? Don't you dare touch my car. Our milk went flying out so I had to go get it. Let me shove this way in the back over here. You son of a bitch. Don't you fucking creep into my car. Don't you freaking do it. Oh, he's doing it, guys. He's doing it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You're going nose to nose to me with me, you dirty bastard. All right, hold on. Let me let me see if I can get out of here. Okay. Wow, I am really far back. I am really, really far back in the car. Hmm. I don't know. I can almost, almost feel like I can see more this way. Oh, God, though. I... This isn't going to be a matter of coming in a place. It's going to be a matter of me staying alive on the track. I am... I am not prepared for this. At all. But... You know what? You gotta do this shit. You gotta do this shit in order to get better, right? I mean, you can't just... You can't just not practice and expect to get anywhere. That rock is probably going to kill me when we do this rally. The other thing is, I'm going to be doing this rally while I'm commentating. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, Jesus Christ. As if I didn't have enough problems staying... Paying attention to the race, just in general. I'm gonna try and talk about it while I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, yay. I think third gear is the sweet spot for me. It's got a decent power range. It tops out at about 120 kilometers per hour. I don't think I'm going to be going faster than 120 on these back roads because, oh Jesus Christ, because even, even at right around 80, I seem to lose my footing quite a bit. First gear is way too slick though. The amount of power that this vehicle generates is just way too much for first gear. We usually end up spinning out and or just shredding the tires. Well, not really shredding the tires. I guess it's shredding the gravel. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Just unmaintained dirt. All right, boys, enough talk. It's time to race. First though, I'm gonna drink this freaking milk. Milk does a body good. It's always good luck before a race. Let's go ahead and toss it in the back here. Don't want to piss off mother nature. I think it went straight through our trunk. That was kind of interesting. All right, now, oh, parking brakes on. That's a good way to start a race. Anyway, the, the sign up guy is right over here. Now I've never done this before. So I think I know how it goes. Basically, uh, I believe, we go over here, we park this, I guess I have to get out, I have to pay this dude 500 marks for this, I think. Alright, so do this here, uh, let me just make sure that it does deduct our mark, I'm assuming we like, we click down here and this is like our signature, uh, roll bars, four point harness, rally tires, and it's inspected, oh we've completed all that, you don't need doors though! Pretty fucking odd, but you don't need doors and a hood. Whatever. So, all right, that's it. Drive slowly to the starting area. Okay. Now, we can't go past the red signs. Where do I want to sit? Right about... I want, like, a nice field of view. Oh, God. I'm actually a little nervous. Right about here. Okay. Fucking did it again. Drive slowly to the starting area. I think that this entire area is the starting area. Um, I'm not sure. I hold on. Let me let me see this here. We're in neutral. It's not really doing anything. Yet. Oh, maybe we have to get up to the red signs. Now I know if you go past, if you go past, I think those secondary red signs, you get a penalty. I'm pretty I'm pretty certain. This has to mean something. This little sign over here. Okay, get ready. All right, Whew, here we go. Come on, baby. Don't let me down, Satan man's pussy car. Oh God, I hope I don't go flying off the freaking roadway. I think I just want to complete it, just so we can get a time to shoot for in the beginning, rather than me trying to like do my absolute best. Okay, here we go. 
Let's start it up. Yeah, all the way, buddy. Okay, that was a fantastic start. <laughs> and when I say fantastic start, I mean a terrible start. Here we go, though. We are off. Third gear is about as good as I can do. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to do the best I can. 80 kilometers per hour is nowhere near professional driving ability. I would imagine I need to be somewhere around 120 to do any level of good on this course. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay. That's fine, Gray. Everyone goes off. Everyone goes off road now and again in a rally. It's no big deal. Okay, let's keep going here. Come on, get those freaking RPMs up so I can shift. Very good. All right. Doing Oh my god. Doing fine. Here we go, boys. This is it, rallying with Gray, hands starting to shake. You know how in some games you get like the shakes when things get all tense and stuff like that? I'm actually getting a little bit tense here because my balls are on the line. And when I say my balls, I mean my car because St. Man's pussy car, well, we don't have the fuzzy dice in here anymore. Someone mentioned that the fuzzy dice means that you've had sex in your car. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. Let me go ahead and feather the, oh God, okay, good. Just kind of feathered the uh, the steering wheel a little bit. Yeah, I know I'm driving like Miss Daisy. Give me a freaking break. 80 kilometers per hour on these back roads for Gray is pretty damn good. Oh shit! Don't go off road too much, Gray. All right, downshift to get that power band going. There we go. Come on, baby. Now, when I say power band, I used to ride dirt bikes a lot. So when I say power band, that's what I'm talking about. I don't really know if it's the same thing for cars. If you guys would call it a power band, fuck me. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go off road for this. I just don't want to go off-road too far, Sh shift it into second. Now, that green car that almost took us out on the way over here, is he still here? Because that would be bullshit if I'm going to have to watch out for freaking people on the roadway too. Ugh, all right. Around here, this is always a death-defying area because it's a fucking cliff right over here. Yep, there it is. Did around it pretty good. Shift down real quick to get some additional speed. Doing all right. 80 kilometers per hour, kind of holding fairly well right over here. Okay, this is the first turn. We want to go past this. I'm going to go ahead and downshift to gain a little bit more power. Right about here. Now, the next intersection that we come to, we're going to have to make a left. And then after that, we need to bear left. I think the next time that we need to bear left is at uh, Lope or Lope. Lope. I don't know, man. I told you, I've been trying to just pronounce that, that freaking city right for quite some time. Oh, you son of a bitch. Don't you do this to me. Okay, good. Little bit of a recovery there, not too shabby. Oh God, I've been riding third gear hard for a while. I wanna try and get out of third gear, but I just, I don't know, man. I just don't feel super comfortable doing it yet. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and downshift for this so that we can pull out of this turn. Right about here. Oh, fuck me. Okay, doing good. All right, go into first here. Into second, come on, baby, do it, do it, do it. All right, into third, not too shabby. We seem to be moving okay. I don't really know what our competitors' times are though. Um, I imagine way, way better than me because they're 100% finish and I'm like 132nd finish. So I'm just barely finished enough to participate in this race is what I'm saying. Let's keep going here. Doing good. Almost up to about 100 kilometers per hour. Some people fuck me sideways. Well, actually my car is sideways. Come on, baby. Re yes. Okay, good. We recovered. That was not as bad as I could have thought. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Get on the damn roadway. Get on the roadway. Yes, good. Um, someone had mentioned that this car operates best under a lot of RPMs, so I guess I'll keep the RPMs high. Like, we're keeping it right at about, what is that, like 7,000 RPMs? It doesn't seem to be getting pissed off at us, though. Oil temperature seems to be okay. The temperature of the car seems just fine. I'm glad we got those upgraded parts. I'm going to downshift for this. This is kind of a long turn here, and I don't want to go fly into the water. Got another decent turn right over here as well. Oh, come on, baby. Let me shift. Okay, good. Go ahead and shift her here. Doing all right. This is a little bit of a straightaway. When I say straightaway, I just mean that I probably won't die horribly in the next 10 seconds. All right, doing good. Oh, fuck, guys. Oh, God. Okay, over here. Into the... Don't you fucking do it. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, we didn't die. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it for me. Do it for Gray. Do it for Gray. Go, 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 go. Oh, into second gear. Come on. Fuck you. <laughs> Freaking mailbox. Okay, we need to make a turn here. Oh, there's signs here that, that tell you which way to turn. That's kind of curious. Going over here, just kind of bare to the left. Oh, you can tell I failed my rally color exams. Here we go. No, you're supposed to have confidence when you're doing this stuff. I'm the best. I'm the best that there ever was. Come on, baby. Shift for me. 
shift for me, you beautiful green, brown, and yellow motherfucker. Here we go. Come on, this is it. This is where I can gain some speed. I think because our car is all fucked up, we're starting to wobble a little bit. I'm definitely feeling it. Oh! Oh, shit! All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yeah, spin back out, spin back out straight ahead. I love it. First gear is the best, man. I love first gear. Into second gear coming up the hill. Losing a little bit of speed and traction, though. Uh, oh, wow, we are really pulling over to the right. I don't know why. We probably have all kinds of fucked upness in our car. As if I didn't have enough trouble trying to... Wow, this thing's pulling right now. As if I didn't have enough problems driving. You know what? I'm crashing less as it pulls over to the right. What does this tell you? Oh, means I suck ass. There we go. Yes. Be not too shabby. How much longer is this fucking course? Oh, I can't believe our car is still in one piece. How many times can Gray flip his car and get lucky enough for it to land back on the fucking wheels? Here we go. Oh, don't you fucking do this to me. All right. Doing fine, doing fine. Oh my god, this car is gonna need a visit to the gynecologist after this! Come on, baby. Stop pulling to the right! Stop it, you motherfucking spoon licker! Come on! Here we go! Oh, shit! Oh, it's pulling big time, guys! I can barely stay on the road! And I could barely stay on the road normally! Come on, come on! This course is no joke, man! I know there's a lot of people watching me being like, great! You bitch asshole! I did this so easily. Oh no, no! Ow! Okay, the car still works. Everything's fine. The car's fine. Come on, motherfucker. Oh, Satana, come on, start. Start for me. Come on, start! No! Oh, shit! Oh, man. Come on, come on. Okay, we're back. We just kind of flooded for a second there. No big deal. I think I see my racing muffler on the ground. Fuck it. We're still in the race, though. We'll figure that out later. I got a lot better. Oh, wow. It's starting to pull now. I got a lot better visibility without it, boys. Here we go. No windshield. No doors. This thing's not turning anymore to the left. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't fuck your car up, guys. The race becomes a lot worse when your car gets all jacked up. Oh, you motherfucker! Come on. Ah. Get back up on the course, Gray. Get back up on the course, Gray. Finish the race. That's all I want. We don't need to come in first. We don't need to come in second. I just want to finish the fucking race. Oh, this thing can barely turn anymore. Yes. Okay, good. We made it onto the roadway. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here we go. This is it. Last little bit, I'm hoping. Ah. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Oh. Jesus. Christ. <laughs> oh, Satan man's pussy car. Oh, I'm so sorry. It looks fine. I mean, the wheels... Oh, wow, the wheels fucking out of alignment big time. Oh, wow, look at all the bending. <laughs> all right, let's see the results. Ah, Gray still plays. Eight minutes and six fucking seconds. We couldn't even get on the results. Fuck! But you know what? That just means that we have a lot more attempts that we can do. Plus, it also gives me the opportunity to ask you guys, give me any suggestions you have for this rally. Again, I'm not much of a racer. You're talking to a guy who doesn't play racing games ever. Uh, I love this game because it's a cool ass game and because it's very fun. And I like the simulation aspect. I love the survival aspect. I love the building aspect, but the racing aspect is the part that I have the most difficulty with. So anything you guys got to help a brother out who doesn't have a steering wheel and is just using the keyboard, feel free to let me know. If I got to use the steering wheel to become competitive, 
Maybe I'll put down the money for a steering wheel. Christmas is coming up. I'll ask the wife. Until the next time, guys, thanks for the support and thanks for dealing with me, even though I am a horrible driver. But, God, I have so much fun in this game, and I hope you guys do, too. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. You can do it no matter what. Don't ever give up in my summer car, motherfucker, because if Gray can finish the rally, so can you.